Welcome to another episode of The Rundown. This week, we have the latest regarding PCS orders and lead times. Navy Cool has released a guide for their sailors to use their naval experience for a career in the maritime industry. We have some summer safety tips for this holiday. Last week, we told you the Navy will be shortening lead times for PCS orders due to budget constraints. Due to recent efforts, the Navy is moving closer to its three-month average for issuing PCS orders in the coming weeks and months. A working group was put together with members from throughout the fleet who suggested several initiatives, most meant to be transparent to sailors. These initiatives will aim to maintain current readiness and fleet manning levels, reduce overall costs, and minimize additional impacts as PCS orders are carefully navigated for the remainder of the fiscal year. As part of the plan, non-critical and overmanned rates in fiscal year 16 will shift into fiscal year 17. In other words, over 2,000 sailors will begin their training a few months later than previously scheduled. Also, delayed entry program sailors who do not complete training will not be replaced as is normally the case. The Navy is on track to meet its recruiting goals for fiscal year 16 as it has for more than 100 months. Also, Navy Personnel Command will continue to issue letters of intent for overseas moves. So even if you don't have orders in hand, you can still start the process of overseas and medical screenings, dependent entry approval, passport applications, and security clearance requests. Read more about the update from our story on Navy Live, or check out NPC's website at www.public.navy.mil. On the website, click Headquarters Sites, then Naval Personnel Command. Navy Cool has released its Blueprint to Mariner Guide to help sailors use their naval experience to transition into a career in the U.S. Merchant Marines. 19 enlisted ratings and 15 officer designators have transferable job experiences for over 150 different occupations in the Merchant Marines. Sailors will be given the opportunity to remain on active duty while training for a career in the Merchant Marines and can apply to have fees waived for the licensing process. Blueprint to Mariner provides a step-by-step -step guide for the application, visual aids, and resources. The guide can be found on the front page of Navy Cool. Go to www.cool.navy.mil. As you begin to fire up the grill for the 4th of July, be mindful of the dangers associated with the holiday and how to keep yourself and your family safe during the summer. The Naval Safety Center provides training and resources for off-duty recreation, pool safety, motorcycle safety, and more to help you enjoy the summer. Trends show that sailors experience more off-duty and motor vehicle mishaps during the summer than any other season. Visit the Naval Safety Center website by going to public.navy.mil. Under Headquarters Sites, click Naval Safety Center. We hope everyone has a safe and happy 4th of July. Finally, congrats to all the FTS and Reserve Sailors who were selected to the rank of Chief Petty Officer. Well, that's all for this week. For any questions, send us a message at usnpeople at gmail.com. For the Chief of Naval Personnel, I'm MC2 LJ Burleson. Thanks for watching.